I want to show you guys something. This is a 24-hour cortisol curve. It shows you how your cortisol level is throughout the day over a 24-hour period of time in a given day. You can see in the morning is much higher and at night it goes much lower to get you ready for restful sleep. And so something really interesting happened when I was watching my glucose monitor is that I was noticing I was getting a little bit of a rise in my blood sugar in the morning without having anything to eat or drink. So what's happening is, is that my blood sugar is rising in the morning after I wake up because of the cortisol awakening response, which is corresponding to right here. You can see there's a significant increase in our cortisol when we wake up. And that's part of one of the reasons why we wake up. That's why it's called the cortisol awakening response. It happens because one of the principal functions of cortisol is to mobilize blood sugar, mobilize blood sugar so that our brain and our muscles can optimize and function the best cognitively and from a performance standpoint for our day, basically evolutionarily designed so that we can function the best throughout our day. And so we get that cortisol awakening response, mobilizing blood sugar, which is why our blood sugar rises in the morning on our glucose monitor, even without anything to eat or drink. And so if you ever see that and you have a glucose monitor, you're wondering why that happens in the morning. It's a really interesting phenomenon. It's because of the cortisol awakening response. It's an evolutionary advantage to us to be able to perform our best. Things we can do to even enhance our cortisol awakening response more will be getting some daytime sunlight immediately upon waking up. That actually sends signal through our retina, to our hypothalamus, to our suprachiasmatic nuclei, and releases ACTH and then cortisol naturally to give us a rise in our cortisol awakening response so we can function at an even higher level. That's a great example of biohacking, along with doing some light activity in the morning that can also do it, as well as delaying caffeine intake to about 60 minutes after we wake up so it doesn't interrupt it. And then most importantly is at night, making sure the night before we're not getting disrupted sleep, we're getting restful sleep, we have a good sleep hygiene, not using lights two hours before we go to sleep, not using our phones two hours before we go to sleep, not using bright lights before we go to sleep, and optimizing our stress, mindfulness, breathing, yoga, things like that at night, as opposed to strenuous exercise, can all significantly improve and enhance our output by following our natural cortisol curve. So follow your cortisol curve like the roller coaster that it is, use it to reboot your system. Think of it as restarting your engine. And once you restart your engine, how do you wanna optimize it so that it's the most efficient and the most powerful? If you do those things, you're gonna have the best daytime routine and best nighttime routine, day in and day out, perform at your highest level. It's gonna be more effective for you than any supplement, peptide, vitamin, hormone, or anything else you can do is to optimize your own circadian rhythm. This is something that nature has given us to perform at our best. And before we do anything else to our body, it's the most important thing we can do. Focus on this first and you'll reach peak performance much easier than you would if you didn't.